Okay, we just got back from a wonderful dive at the Blue Heron Bridge, and I used the point and shoot camera with a night light housing, an external wide angle wet lens, and then constant illumination still photography. I have a high power focus light and a video light to bring some light color and contrast to the foreground. I had to keep my aperture somewhat small to maintain a good depth of field to get both the foreground and the background in focus. And because my aperture was somewhat small, I had to bump up my ISO somewhat. But let's hope I don't have too much noise or green in the pictures. So this should be kind of fun. Let's check it out. Thanks. Okay, so I saw this um, little sea cucumber for a demonstration. My wife uh, turned on her GoPro and got behind the sea cucumber. I turned on and adjusted my video light and strong focus light, set the camera to aperture priority, decreased the aperture size to f8 to have good depth of field and increased my ISO setting to 400 so I could have a quick enough shutter speed. I moved in, took a test shot, checked my LCD for composition, the subject in the foreground, my wife in the background, and checked the histogram for exposure. I realized I was too far from the subject. I moved in closer. Now you'll see a couple things. Um, one, I tilted the camera a little too. I kind of got the camera in the sand which caused a little backscatter. All right, so let's check out and see how these pictures looked. Again, the constant problem that I had with the compact camera, wet wide angle attachment, constant illumination, still photography, no strobes, just a video light and a strong focus light to bring some illumination in the foreground. The, constant, the, the, the common theme of the problem is I was not close enough to the foreground subject and my wife, the diver in the background, was a little too close. I wish she was farther away. I didn't realize that we don't get the same size perspective distortion with a wet wide angle lens than we do with a true fisheye lens where you really can get very close to the subject in the foreground and the subject in the background can just be a couple feet away and yet the, the subject in the background looks a lot further away and you get a much larger field of view with a true fisheye lens. So that's what I'm going to learn. But this is the best I could do with two dives at the Blue Huron Bridge with this compact camera wide angle lens and a video light and a focus light. So here's the first shot. I cropped these even vertically and you can see I was too far away from the sea cucumber in the foreground. Again, remember how I tilted the camera? You can see how the horizon is tilted, which is a little disturbing. And you can see here how I had the wide angle lens dipping in the sand. Uh, you can see in the lower right hand corner the sand in the foreground, which caused some backscatter. Now this is another shot when I was a little closer. This one's better. I still cropped it a little. The horizon's more level, but the foreground subject is still too far away. I wish it was larger, and I wish my wife was a little further away to get more size perspective distortion. This shot is okay. All right, here's a shot of a, a nice turtle uh, on the sea floor. We can view the horizon. We have kind of an open water, blue, non-distracting background. Uh, my wife was a little too close again, and I had some backscatter. The turtle is slightly blurred. My shutter speed was probably a little slower than it, it might have otherwise been. Uh, I don't mind that shot too much. Very simple shot, just of uh, a grassy bottom. My wife's in the background, she's a little too far away, you can barely see her, and this is certainly nothing fancy. Honestly, I don't mind it, it just shows how the um, environment looks at the Blue Huron Bridge at this particular time. Uh, here's another shot, a nice sea robin. Now, I wasn't as close as I wish I would have been, and I wish the subject in the background, the diver, was a little further away. I caused some backscatter, I had the uh, when I was settling onto the seafloor, I probably caused most of this. The visibility wasn't great, but I think I caused most of this uh, distracting backscatter. And maybe if I had had more time to adjust my video light and focus light posi strobe position, maybe I could have eliminated some of this backscatter. Also, the sea robin is facing a little away from me. So not a great shot, but I tried. Here, I thought this shot had a lot of potential. I ended up a little bit disappointed. First of all, it's not really a true close focus wide angle. I'm not nearly close enough to the seahorse. We really don't have any size perspective distortion here. But the main thing is 
the seahorse was on the other side of that little arch of coral, and I couldn't get my video light and focus light to really directly illuminate the seahorse. They illuminated the arch of coral around that, and I, I wish the seahorse was a little brighter. But still, it's kind of cool. It's got a seahorse, a really cool subject, and it's got my wife in it. So I don't really mind that, even though it's a little disappointing. Here's a beautiful batfish on the seafloor with the diver in the background. Again, I'm too far away from the subject in the foreground. Now, this is probably my favorite shot from the two dives. I got closer, I got a nice shot of the profile of that batfish in the foreground, and I got my wife in the background. I think it's kind of a cool shot. Anyway, so that's about what I could do with a compact camera, uh, external wet lens and no strobes, just uh, constant illumination, video light and focus light to bring some illumination to the foreground and keep a quick shutter speed. And uh, at the Blue Heron Bridge. So I learned a little bit. Next time I'm going to try to get closer and maybe uh, manipulate my strobe positioning a little more to illuminate the foreground subject better and maybe to minimize some of the backscatter. But thanks so much for tuning in. If you get a chance, give me any feedback. I'd really appreciate your comments. So thanks so much.